one of the men who saved our lives. Matt Simonson jumping into the storm surge. Matt was on a fishing boat in Fort Myers, Florida, with his friend Captain Robert Donzi when they saw our car. Despite the obvious danger, they didn't hesitate. Matt goes, what should we do? I said, go get them guys, get them on the boat. This water is coming up so fast. I've covered hurricanes for a decade all along the Gulf and Atlantic coast. This is me covering Hurricane Ida. Barry. This is what we were concerned about. Ermin, Matthew, Henri, and Ian, just to name a few. That's a lot of hurricanes, and despite the dramatic scenes, we always put safety first. But nothing in our experience prepared us for Ian. The wind here is actually really picking up. Journalists generally don't like to tell our own personal stories. It's our job to report on other people's experiences, not our own. But what happened to me and newsy photographer Kyle Short could happen to anyone. So we're sharing it. With all the training and experience in the world, storm surge can still sneak up on you. Which is precisely what happened. First responders are not coming out to rescue anyone. At 11 a.m. on the morning of Wednesday, September 28th, we had just finished our live reports for Morning Rush. I gotta tell you, it is time for us to go. It is no longer safe here. Kyle and I broke down the gear, got back in our SUV, and prepared to move to a parking garage where we planned to ride out the storm. We called in to report on our plans, then we saw the surge. In the space of minutes, the water surrounded us. We had to try and make it out, but the water had us. It quickly rose, pouring into the car, filling the floorboards. It had risen by at least a foot. The water's over your house. One of the sea trucks crew, Matt Simonson, waded over from the already flooded marina and helped us escape the truck. We grabbed what we could, opened the door, and stepped out into the most dramatic storm surge I've ever seen. Captain Robert Donzi was watching from the deck of the sea truck. I look out and see the, the suburban they were in, submerged, and they were able to hold the camera gear up. And by the time they got to right here, that water was about right here, and they were having trouble walking to the boat. So if we would have waited another five minutes, it would have been too late. They would have been washed away. Washed away with a Category 4 hurricane here. barreling in. San Carlos Boulevard is now a river. With water submerging all the land around us. If we wouldn't have seen them, if they would have been another 500 feet down the road, it would have been a disaster. I don't even want to think about it, you know. I don't either. Or the day and night that followed. The surge lifted the sea trek 15 feet above the dock, rocked by more than 100 mile per hour winds. Okay, I know everybody's freaking out, so I just want to give you an update. We're on the sea trek. We have safely landed across the pitchers in the mangrove trees. So we are not moving anymore. We are not listing. We're not leaning. We are safe. We have plenty of amenities on the boat. So this is where we'll be for tonight. Uh, let's see, a bucket of salt water, fresh water, anything? On board, we were safe and dry, not easily. trying to keep right. fear at bay. Can't get it out of the well. Take it out of the, um, the bilge. And get on with the business of survival. Out. With the ropes tying us to the dock snapping, they cut loose and we rode it out. Right there. The only reason we are alive today is because Matt back there waded out in waist deep water at the time, got us out of the car. We kept crashing into things. Things were crashing into us. We had to put on our life jacks because at a few times it looked like the boat was going to tip over. As I struggled to file a report, it all sank in. This storm is not done. There's going to be internal flash flooding inside the panhandle of Florida, and storm surge is still a real problem. I... Please just be safe. With the daylight, what we survived became apparent, and it was shocking. Back on dry land, the falling water revealed the utter destruction that had been churning below us all night. That's our car, close to where we left it, now propping up a boat called the Cracker Jack. And this is the sea truck, our ark. Uh, we have a lot of work ahead of us and our boat is, it might be salvageable, but the main thing is we were able to save them guys and get them on the boat.